with their children, and they play off the novelty of their age. Many examples. But uh, there's a new hard rock band that has burst onto the scene, and though they may be very, very young, their talent is commanding attention. Reporter Francesca Capucci introduces us to the members of Bad for Good. How young are they? Members in Bad for Good range in age from 14 to 17. Guitar virtuoso Steve Vai, who has played with such bands as Whitesnake and David Lee Roth, produced the band's first record, Refugee. Vai's initial meeting with Thomas McLaughlin in 1988 at a Monsters of Rock concert in England set the ball rolling. The other members were recruited shortly thereafter. Thomas was only eight at the time. Members in Bad for Good are older than their years in many ways. They seem to have a very mature understanding about the opportunity before them. I figure if you look ahead, you start misconcentrating on what you're doing now, which is going to dig you into a ditch if you're not concentrating on what you're doing. And a tutor takes the place of school. Now, I don't feel like I'm missing out. I feel like I'm gaining on something that, that I'll, you know, that I'll know. When most, when most people are like 18, 19, going through a life when they, you know, they get their money and they're 18 and they go and they waste it all and then they're 21 going, what have I got, what have I done? You know, by that time, hopefully I'll have my life together because I'm doing this now. Bad for Good is more than a musical novelty. The band is receiving critical acclaim because at such a young age, these musicians have accomplished quite a lot. In Hollywood, Francesca Capucci, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Dallas, there is absolutely no Inside Word. Hi, I'm Michael Kastner, and welcome to the Inside Word. Later in this half hour, we're going to be talking with 17-year-old Scott Weinger. Now, he's not only joined the cast of Full House, but he also supplies the voice of Disney's holiday smash, Aladdin. You've been hearing all about that. But right now, it's Danny Cooksey, Thomas McRocklin, Brooks Wackerman, and Zach Young, better known as Bad for Good. And anybody who thinks a kid should be seen and uh, not heard are in for a big surprise. They got a big, big record deal. There it is. That's their debut album. And they're going to be performing Nothing Great About a Heartache. This is from their album, Refugee. Here they are. to feel this way that a heart could never reach a peak of truth until it breaks that you feel nothing till you feel like you're nothing and that real suffering helps to keep that muscle pumping well i beat give me back my inexperience and keep the heat let me try it for delivery Nothing great about a heartache There's nothing that I want to learn from all this pain well, I'd rather not feel love than to have to feel this way Like I'm dying when you've all been lying Cause there's nothing great about a heartache Sometimes when you pain That the spirit carries passion Like the thunder carries rain And that when our emotions Are a death to our devotion Just like devastation Is the path to recreation When I bleed Give me back my childhood And I'll some say the peace You've all been lying Cause there's nothing great about body I'm 
supposed to feel this way That a heart could never reach A peak of truth until it breaks Yeah, yeah Nothing's great about a heart There's nothing that I want to learn from all this pain Well, I'd rather not feel loved than to have to feel this way like I'm dying You've all been lying Cause there's nothing Great about a body Fantastic. I'm going to do my Don Cornelius number okay. here. You know, like, hi, welcome yeah. back to the show and everything. Uh, by the way, just in case you recognize the face, Danny was on Different Strokes, right? Yeah. But I don't think that that's why you're doing the music. It's not like you're no, going like, oh, no. I'm a TV star. Unbelievable. Everybody in the control room is going, I don't believe this. Oh, cool. Now, you guys, you're the only one who's old enough to drive. That's right. Because right. we're talking about uh, 17, 15, 13, and 14-year-olds here. Unbelievable. So you're the only one who can drive? The right. driving guy. That's right. I'm the driving kind of guy. You us all over. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't call it chauffeur. So how do you get to the to gigs then? You basically, you have to do it? Well, no, no. I mean, everybody has their own way of getting there. But, I mean, if all else fails, you know, the kids always got the wheels. <laughs> I also have to ask you, some of the lyrics on here, like I was listening to a Bangin' Time again. Yeah. You are talking about uh, what the producer's going, God, be careful. There's some lyrics in there a little bit racy and stuff like, uh, yeah. I want to, you're talking to a girl saying, I want to make a mess in your bed and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Would that at your age be from, would the lyrics so be from strictly experience? experience? Yeah, strictly yeah. experience. Yeah. God, God I, point of view. From, oh, okay. Okay. And also, I want to show everybody the album cover, too, because you guys are, uh, you're not wearing a lot of clothes in, in no. this as well. Is that, uh, does that, was it kind of weird for you taking all your clothes off and everything? Is this? Uh, no. no? No. I felt uncomfortable. You did fall uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Were we it looking at it? There were some nice people there. What's that? There were some nice looking people there. Oh, okay. A little Everyone inspiration. Everyone had their clothes off. <laughs> we do that occasionally on this show, too. Tom, our floor director here, is just incredible in his bikinis, but I don't want to get into that now. Well, actually, one of the things we want to tell you about, I'm going to put this down. First of all, here's the album right there. It's Bad for Good, and the album is called Refugee, so you're going to want to check that out. And it's available at a uh, record store near you. And also, we got this thing that we're doing here. Uh, it's a Christmas tree. What the hell is it? Oh, it's right over there. Uh, we are going to be donating it to the organization Caring for Babies with AIDS. And uh, each guest on the show the next couple of weeks is going to be signing a ribbon and placing it on the tree, and then uh, we're going to give that tree to them, and it's uh, one of those phony trees, because it's a uh, hot set, and it'll catch right. on fire, but they can use it year in and year out, which is a very important thing, so here's the ribbon, Cool. okay, there's the I'll pen, sign away. and you guys do your signing thing, and uh, I want to remind everybody that Bad For Good's debut album is called Refugee, it's available at your uh, local music store, and after this very short break, as they're signing away here, by the way, they may be at a club near you too, so check them out, uh, the Inside Word welcomes a 17-year-old kid who's faxing his way through high school, we're going to find out what it's like to match wits with Robin Williams during the making of Aladdin, we're talking about Scott Weinger, and he's on the cover of this week's People magazine, so don't you go away. And rockers bad for good have been cultivating these looks and locks for years. Guitarist Thomas McLaughlin first picked up a guitar at age five. Now at age 16, he's been handpicked by veteran guitarist Stephen Vai. Bandmates include Danny Cooksey, 17, Brooks Wasserman, 15, and Zach Young, the youngest at age 14. Though they are young, they say they're starting to get the perks that older rock bands brag about. One of my best friend's girlfriend undressed on stage one of our shows. She camps out on my lawn. No, nah, she camps out on Brooks's lawn. Bad news is their parents join them on tour, but they handle them with kid gloves when it comes to the advances of preteen fans. I tell them they're 10, you know, if they were like 18, I'd say, you know, if they lived in my city, I'd give them a call. I think they just trust us too much. Yeah. 
The boys from Bad for Good say the fan mail they get makes up for the fact that they aren't making a whole lot of money yet. But they say the very best thing about being rock and roll stars is all the great spandex. You might say that.